<laughs> there are 21 men on this tour. Most of them asked us not to show their faces, and all of them began this journey with a single mouse click. Loveme.com is the internet's largest international matchmaker, run by a company called A Foreign Affair. They sell access to thousands of women around the world and take a fee for every flirty email, every interpreted phone call. But for the man who wants to move beyond pen pals, there is this. A Foreign Affair. The promotional video sells a fairy tale just waiting for any guy willing to fly to a third world country. San Jose, Costa Rica. Meeting beautiful women. Is this a dream? Or is it possible? At the moment, a foreign affairs favorite hotspot is Ukraine. Legend has it there is a serious guy shortage in this former corner of the Soviet Union, leaving hordes of young women pining away for mature, loving Western men. Guys just like Bob Ray. I like being married. I really do. Uh, dating is fine, but you know, you, you get to a certain age and it gets a little old. <laughs> After his divorce, the former college professor hasn't had much luck in his hometown of Harrisburg, PA, especially while raising two kids alone. He tried eHarmony and Match.com, finally decided to expand his search overseas. I'm not saying anything against American women because I, I have a wonderful daughter. <laughs> She's beautiful. But the point is, is, this is not a very big town. And everybody's married. <laughs> First of all, I'll show you Ruth Lana. After striking up online correspondence with a few dozen women, her name is Ala. She is the right age. And hiring a Russian tutor, Kakdala. That's how you doing. Bob packs his bags for the most ambitious trip of his life. After a 15 hour flight, the romance tourists touch down and check in, full of jet lag and nervous excitement. Already got a message. I'm excited. There are binders of women to browse, dates to arrange, and since few will speak English, interpreters to meet. My name is Irina, and I'm here to help you to find your one only. First of all, I want to welcome you guys for coming. That is John Adams, the man behind this whole endeavor. He is the founder and owner of A Foreign Affair, and every chance he gets, John uses himself as an example of what's possible. When I saw Tanya, it was just like lightning struck. It was just the most amazing thing. John met his wife on a romance tour of Russia. And 14 years later, they have two kids and a house in the Phoenix suburbs. All this can be yours, he tells his clients, if they play it smart. Woohoo, that was good. Don't fall for the first one to batter eyes, he warns, and meet as many women as you can. <laughs> And this will be easier than any imagined because a foreign affair is constantly refreshing their menu with women who aren't hung up on age or cultural gaps. If I met the right guy from America or another country and uh, if I like him, uh, I will marry him. Yes, definitely. <laughs> the men arrange as many dates as they can fit into a day. Some are just a quick morning rendezvous over coffee, others involve a stroll and a meal. Almost all include the English-speaking third wheel. You're so tall. I'll stand on a chair. <laughs> For a whole lifetime, I'll stand on a chair. <laughs> but through three socials in three cities, Bob and the men seem invigorated by the kind of female attention they haven't enjoyed since, well, ever. Ask her if she wants to go to America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble. I saw you it's last a night. Lot of fun. You saw me with a woman who was five foot nine. I'm five foot five. A volleyball player, <laughs> 22, and she didn't want me to come to this city. She wanted me to stay. <laughs> if you uh, did bring the five foot nine inch, 22 year old volleyball player back to Harrisburg. This is a fantasy bill, but go ahead. What would people say? Or they what? would think I was out of my ever loving mind. It would, <laughs> she wouldn't be happy. Yeah. She would not be happy. So you're 65, how young is too young for you? See, my daughter's 30. And she told me, <laughs> you bring somebody younger than me home, <laughs> I'm going to shoot you. While Bob keeps looking for someone more age appropriate, Danny, a Home Depot employee from Oregon, is certain he has found the one. What's her name? 
Her name is Svetlana. I'm very excited. I haven't felt this way in years, so it's an amazing feeling to be uh, maybe not so young and in love, but in love. He's 47, she's 23, and they can barely communicate. But after one four-hour date, he's ready to buy a ring. So what do you have in mind? You're not going to so go diamond, are you? <laughs> no, just a modest band that doesn't have a lot of flair to it. Just a symbol of the uh, commitment to the relationship. What do you think she's going to say? We'll find out. <laughs> he is clearly head over heels. But does she feel the same way? And what are these women really like? See for yourself.